So today boys, we're going from noob to pro as Sasuke Uchiha in Shindo Life. So yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So as you can see guys, I just spawned in, in the game as you can see. And now we're going to be going straight to customization. Oh uh, boy, what is that? I look really ugly. So we're going to have to switch that real quick here. So we're going to become Sasuke in 3, 2, one all right guys as you can see we have become sasuke uchiha and yeah he looks kind of drippy i can't lie so we're gonna start off with the elements guys so the elements are gonna be a little bit difficult uh, actually no they're not gonna be difficult at all so it's gonna be i'm pretty sure fire and thunder or lightning that's what we're gonna go for anyways so that's what we're gonna be leveling up in this dip to pro so let's search up fire oh it's flame i'm pretty sure yep flame there we go so let's put the element element one and thunder and i'm pretty sure what's it called i don't really know what it's called uh in shindo life is it thunder i don't know no. it's shock okay it's shock there we go so we have the two elements perfect so we can equip actually up to three bloodlines so we are gonna go for diva sengoku which is the first blood that we're actually gonna be using diva sengoku which is basically his winnegan so that's actually really good the next one is ryan Aku uh, akuma so ryan akuma is the second one and for this final one i don't really know what to go for so i'm just gonna stick it like this i think that's the best thing to do i'm just leaving it as ryan akuma and diva sengoku and we're also gonna be using the ryan azu uh, as the second one because i feel like that's the only thing i have so i'm just gonna put that as the first bloodline for now so yeah that is the sasuke build completed guys so now we're gonna jump straight in actually first we can check the rc shop if there's any customizations we can actually buy for him uh i don't think there is but we're just gonna see if there's any cloaks that will actually match him because the cloaks aren't really that expensive whatsoever so yeah oh they got a lot of nice madara cloaks and stuff like that so that looks actually really really good uh but we're not really trying to make madara today we are making sasuke oh these are actually really nice uchiha one. Oh, okay so they got a lot of oh this one would go crazy how much is this oh 70k holy 70 these are expensive wow are they, oh are these even gonna be worth holy okay these ones 105k yo you're joking no way see these are nice 35k 25k they're, they're they're good they're good uh but i don't think we'll be buying anything we're not gonna be dripping our sasuke as of yet maybe later on but what wow, i did not think they were that expensive holy so expensive but you know what we're just gonna buy this one for 25k uh like a black cloak i think that's the best we can do because i'm not really trying to spend a lot on sasuke so i don't really know how to equip it on them how do i equip it on them? i'm pretty sure it's accessories so yeah i don't really know how to equip it okay though so we don't want these no but i purchased some real coin shop okay so we have to find the accessories we bought him so yeah i'm gonna be right back guys when i find the accessory all right guys as you can see we have finished customization so we're gonna start actually training and becoming sasuke so this is gonna be a long long journey it's gonna take so long to edit and post but yeah let's get straight into the first city so the requirements for this video guys is to get level a thousand which is gonna be insanely difficult because i actually forgot how to play this game also we need to level up all our bloodlines unlock all our bloodline moves all our element moves which is gonna take me a while because the end is so hard to come across all money whatever money in this game actually the currency runs in but we just spawned in and we all level 358 uh this was um this was before when i grinded but yeah trust me guys i do not have anything at all as you can see i'm gonna press m i do have a little bit of points or so one million nearly uh but all the bloodlines are not leveled up so this could take a while also uh all my elements they leveled up a little bit but not too much shock isn't so yeah we're gonna be actually getting straight into some training here log train to like level of 500 i say and i'll try and get my bloodlines a little bit when do i need to equip this okay i need level 50 to equip the first one also this i need to level 50 so yeah level 50 of these uh is gonna be really easy to get this one needs level 600 wow so this is gonna be the strongest one i think but yeah so i am actually just go quickly uh train a little bit uh just get just get my mastery up stuff like that and after that we can actually go fight some bosses and stuff like that to actually get stronger but for now i do need to find the nearest log and go train auto click for a second uh maybe like an hour or two try to get a good amount of levels and i'll be right back all right guys so after a long period of grinding i'm finally back i'm around level 892 as you can see so yeah i've been grinding so much here with my friend Pinty. so yeah we've been grinding a lot as you can see he's level 700 nearly but the thing is about this game is when you hit level 800 you actually start getting a lot more stuff like two times coins two times xp i'm pretty sure also if you do join the group you need to get two times xp so the past 92 levels have been literally from two boss fights which are literally insane so right now we're actually gonna try to get to level a thousand here we we'll only need 108 levels left and we've been fighting ryan akuma and uh sorachi akuma so it's gonna be interesting here 
I am also using Xenodakai right now, uh, which is a bit of an L. I'm using it because, yep, uh, these moves are so expensive. I can literally not equip any of them. So it's going to be really, really hard. But I won't be spending any of my money on these guys here. I'm just using Xenodakai for the form because of the C move, the C spec. There's so much damage. So that's why I'm using it for bosses to actually help me out. Because, yeah, it would have been a lot harder and a lot longer for me to actually do it. So, yeah, guys, please allow just this one mistake here. But, yeah, Ryan Akume is here. We're going to be actually getting up into the mode here as you can see and we're gonna be fighting him so the trick is with the, these susano spirit things i've already got the susano spirit as you, can, as you saw from the clip that i showed you guys before this uh, i've already got it so we've got pretty much everything we need the trick is to actually uh let's one person fight this the thingy uh the susano whilst the other person goes and fights the actual uh boss so yeah that's the trick for it i'm pretty sure but right now i'm getting rocked so it's not good so i'm gonna need to dip and then oh okay block use my c-spec there we go. See, so look how much damage I'm taking off him. I'm taking off so much damage. Okay, he blocked most of it because he didn't. But yeah, don't worry, we should be good. Uh, I'm getting destroyed right now, so uh, hopefully I can get a bit of backup very soon. Oh no! Uh, so I'm gonna need to dip for now. So I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna dip, and I'm actually uh, come help kill the Susano. So yeah, whilst we chop the Susano, I'm gonna try help kill it. So yeah, so we can actually just get rid of it. Oh, what? Did he just disappear? Or am I Oh, he died. Wow, okay, he dropped another scroll. Wow, okay, we've not need that scroll. But now, yeah, it's just a boss, and the boss is so simple to kill by himself. It's actually not hard whatsoever. Literally, a couple hits, and they die instantly. Oh, I'm hit. I was hit. I was focusing on my friend. That, that was a big L. I wasted a move there. Oh, I'm actually getting so low. Holy. Uh, I'm going to have to use this. Yeah, that move is so broken. The first move of Diva Sengoku, and it's so broken. So I'm really excited to see all the other moves. We'll be able to purchase more moves very, very soon. But right now, we're going to try actually focus on just getting the levels here. I'm pretty sure we need to kill three, two bosses, and we should be good, good. But yeah, I'm going to unmode here, which is a nice trick. <laughs> My friend died, unfortunately. Oh, oh, no. Oh, yeah, I forgot he can hit long range. So I'm going to just chill, uh, try to get my health back up. Alright, so now here's the time to actually finally kill the boss. Okay, he's dipping now. So, oh, well, never mind. I thought he was gonna be, <laughs> he's gonna be glitched because sometimes, okay, never mind. He's in the move. Look how much damage he's taken off with that move. But I'm gonna use it too. Should be able to take a, oh no, he, he air comboed me. But yeah, I still managed to hit pretty much every single one of those hits. Alright, I'm gonna just hold Q. Hope for the best. And I'm dead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my friend will be able to hold him off. He's just got 150k. He should be able to kill him. Uh, but yeah, look how much levels we get, guys. Right now we're at level 892. Alright uh, guys, here is, and we've killed him, there we go, look at the levels, look at the levels come, oh my god, we're gonna be, I think, 910 by the end of this, oh, past 910, wow, holy, 915 from just one boss, which is really, really good, but I'm gonna just keep farming, guys, and I'll come back when I'm just about to hit 1k, and that's after that, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna have to yen grind f for, for a bit, just to get, like, f I think, 5 million yen to actually unlock everything I need, so that's gonna be, uh, quite difficult, but yeah, I'm gonna grind up to, like, nearly level 1000, I come back just before I hit level a thousand and then I'm gonna go off and then grind all the yen. Uh, let's just say this has been one of the hardest noob pros I've ever attempted. So yeah, I'm gonna be right back. But yeah, guys, as you can see, we are finally here, the last boss, and then we will be max level. And then after that, all we need to do is actually just get the moves. Oh, thank god, it's been a long time coming. It's been so long. Like basically all day today, all I've been doing is just sat on Shindo Life, log log farming, or boss farming, which is let's just say it's been a very, very intense training arc. But now we're finally here at the end. Basically, the last chapter of our story. Ah, okay, I thought I, nearly thought I died. Okay, but now we're here. So yeah, we are the last chapter of our storyline to become actually Sasuke, guys, in this Noob to Pro. But as you can see right now, we are just rocking this boss. Okay, so... Uh, I don't even know what happened. I think my friend trapped us, which is really good. My MD is about to run out. There's been a little bit of a glitch recently in Shindo Life that I've noticed is that the MD runs out super, super quick. And no, it runs out super, super slow, but it takes so long to charge up. Maybe it's just the servers, I have no idea. But yeah, so right now, as you can see, the boss is getting destroyed. So I'll just come back, guys, when we're about to kill him. Because these boss fights do take up a lot of time. Right, guys, he's literally so close to dying. Finally. Oh my god. And we've done it. We have become level 1000. Oh my god. That took so long. Holy, guys. That took so long. But now we can finally rest. Well, not rest. Because now we just have to keep boss farming for so long to get our cash. As you can see, we do need. Uh. 
we only need to unlock these moves right here so we do i've already unlocked two of these moves here which i will be showcasing at the end of the video so stay tuned in for that but as you can see guys i've already unlocked these two moves i need one more million to finish the first divas and goku then i need 500k one million one million so around 3.5 million coins that's what we need and then we have completed the challenge but yeah guys i'll just come back when i do have my full 3.5 million Alright guys, after a long period of time, I've finally done every single requirement I needed to do. If you can see, as you can see here, in Elements, I've unlocked every single Fire Style and Thunder Style or Shock Style. Also, all my Bloodlines are unlocked. These two main Bloodlines that I need to unlock are unlocked, which is Divas and Goku and Ryan Akuma. So, we're actually going to showcase everything, guys, we have here. So, we're going to start off with the modes. So, we're going to start off with Divas and Goku's mode, which actually is so amazing. So, here's the mode. You basically get a cloak, uh, like a Katsuki cloak, it looks so good. And, okay, so we're gonna start showcasing the moves on this log here, uh, and after I will showcase on my friend here. So, first of all, this, these are the M1s, the clean M1s. You actually have, like, this, like a, like a pole thing or, like, a rod that comes out your hand, uh, which is a lot, it's, like, it's really amazing. But, yeah, here's the first move, guys, which is Q that I will be using. This is Q, this is what it does. It basically, like, uh, yeah, it's like a grab gravitational pull but it like pulls them downwards which is uh, really really good uh, guys this is gonna be the c spec the c spec actually i can't really showcase it properly here but uh, i do i do need like a person to showcase uh, so basically uh, you create like a meteor and they get pulled up so it's basically planetary devastation which is uh, really really good so now we're gonna start to the bloodline moves guys for this uh, bloodline which is which are really good bloodline moves actually the first move is you just press v you just end, press click anywhere and i'm pretty sure you like you get a ball okay my ping is a little bit Alright right, guys, as you can see, this is the first bloodline move. Uh, so you just use it and then you just click, and then basically like a like a basically like a ball comes out, which is there's so much damage. It's really really good. Uh, second move, uh, you basically hold the opponent, and you slam him down. I can't really showcase it, but it does. There we go. I actually showcase it. Okay, so he slams him down. It does around. 40k oh my god he actually does so much damage which is amazing so yeah i'm gonna do that one more time here after i use my last move which is n so you basically just uh yeah you summon meters everywhere which is really good for crowd control if you're getting jumped by two people you can easily use it and uh, you can buy yourself some time uh let's use the second move again which is really really good slamming uh why is it? okay there we go so as you can see you pick the opponent up you slam their head into the ground and you stomp on them like three times which is a bit overkill in my opinion but it does allow like 60 70k damage which is really really good i'm gonna try to see spec one more time see if it works Hopefully it actually works on this, but if not, we'll try that after against the boss or something. But yeah, it doesn't work here. So okay, so we'll do a mission after and we'll use it against uh, an actual people. But now we're gonna move it to Ryan Akuma, uh, which is probably one of my favorite bloodlines in this game. I love the design, everything about it is so so good. But yeah, here's the transformation. So here's the first transformation, guys, which is form one. You get a normal shotgun gun. Nothing really you don't really get anything special. Uh second transformation is when stuck things actually start getting nice so you can get like a skeleton susano which you can start hitting away which is sasuke susano of course uh here's this q move which is basically like a inferno i'm pretty sure this is the same for every single one of them c spec uh, is also the exact same for every single one of them but they all look so clean uh the m1s are really really nice too we'll be moving on to the third transformation which is basically like the arrow susano uh which looks amazing like yeah this susano is amazing guys so here's his m1s They're actually a lot stronger than the first uh, transformation I mean, the m1s are a lot stronger and yeah they do like basically this everything like everything that every transformation pretty much is the exact same thing it's just the difference in how it looks here's the first transformation guys which is the full body susano which looks absolutely amazing the m1s on this are actually broken it's so hard to connect with opponents to use this in pvp especially because the hitbox is so weird but yeah that's basically everything for the transformations now we're gonna be, now we're gonna be moving on to the move which is three moves blaze illusion lightning blaze and arrow blaze so blaze illusion pretty sure it's like a like a genjutsu uh which is like an iframe move basically and then yeah yeah, if they do something or they attack you count i don't know where it is i'll try it out after uh, we can work it out later but yeah the second move is basically a chidori with blaze control uh if you connect with it of course it is like a bl blaze particle and yeah it looks really really nice here's the final move guys which is like inferno iron pretty sure you shoot an inferno iron there's so much damage it's really really clean and that's basically it for everything that i can showcase oh yeah we can show we'll showcase the fire style jujutsu and stuff like that but we've already seen all of that but yeah, the fire style jutsu everyone's basically seen them a lot of times so we don't need to showcase them now i'm gonna be moving on to actually doing just one mission guys here where we just fight a couple of i'm gonna go for like a scroll quest uh from these npcs and just fight a group of people just to showcase uh, my moves so yeah i'll come back when i find sc uh, scroll quest well we just found the green quest guys we're gonna click on the green quest okay so there's ninjas that we have to kill so we can showcase a couple of our moves there so this is my favorite loadout i have the first move instead of the illusion because yeah all these genjutsu are only good for pvp and i like to have that's my moves. So this is what i like to have on the basis like on like on, on the normal and i 
I also do much prefer the Diva Sengoku bloodline as yeah, it's just I feel like it's cooler and a lot better. So that's what the, that's the move set I'm gonna go for for Sasuke. I also do have his sword, but yeah, I don't like his sword because I won't let me use the Q. I use my Kenjutsu Q, which is a little bit annoying. But yeah, let's go kill them three people right there. Alright, there we go. We're gonna use the plant devastation here, see if it works. Cause yeah, it's a really amazing move. So let's use it up here and okay, just click on them. Come on, please. Oh no, it didn't work, bro. Oh my god, it's so annoying when it doesn't work because it's so hard to land. I don't really know how to land it properly. But we're just gonna wait for it to actually come back. So we're gonna wait for the cooldown real quick. Alright, guys, here it is. Hopefully it works. Come on, work, please. Just on any of you. There we go, it worked. So yeah, it lifts them up and it creates like a plant devastation type of move, which is really, really good. Uh, here's the first move again. Just creates a ball, hits them to so much damage. And here is Blaze Control, Chidori. So yeah, so many good moves. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we've completed everything we need to do to become Sasuke. Uh, well, for this part, anyways, for this Noob to Pro, anyways. So yeah, that was the first ever Noob to Pro in Shadow Life, guys. Let me know if you want to see more because I'm planning on ranking up, of course. And if you guys want me to switch different, if you guys want me to switch to different bloodlines like Naruto next, or like any character in Naruto, guys, whoever you want to see next, let me know. But yeah, I decided to make Sasuke as the first Noob to Pro because yeah, his bloodlines are really OP and they'll make it really easy to actually uh, grind out levels and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, that has been the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you smash the like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace out.